Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. Sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I want to talk today about visualizing your goals. Now, I understand there's a lot of people saying, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. And what you're doing is you're setting that negative emotion into your brain saying, I can't, I can't, I can't. So what I want you to do instead of saying I can't is I want you to visualize yourself doing what you want to do. For example, when I first got my dentures, I visualized myself eating chicken and pasta alfredo. It was the softest thing I had besides soup. And on day four, and what I mean by visualizing is when I would go to bed at night, I would lay there and, and picture myself eating my chicken and pasta Alfredo and chewing that up and swallowing it and enjoying my meal. And I did that every night from day one when I got my dentures. And on my fourth day, I decided it's time to try it. And yes, it hurt, but I did it. And I did it every day after that. <laughs> because I had reached my goal. So we have to visualize ourselves doing things if we're going to lock it into our brain and quit saying I can't. When I started my workout program 10 weeks ago, actually this is my 11th week. When I started my workout program 11 weeks ago, I could barely do 10 curls with my 35 pound dumbbells. I had lost a lot of strength with my pinched nerve and my busted shoulder. I had lost a lot of my strength. And when I first started my workout program, I would lay in bed at night and I would visualize myself doing 25 curls. In other words, I would visualize myself in the first person, not seeing myself out here, but seeing myself standing there holding the weights, doing 25 curls, okay? I visualized myself doing that, and I would actually, I wouldn't sit there and, f and do this in my, you know, while I was in bed, but I would actually lay there and tense my muscles as, I, as if I was doing 25 curls. And I would just keep working out every day and it got easier and easier and easier and when I reached my goal of doing 25 curls I visualized myself doing another 25 curls and I reached that goal so I was doing two sets of 25 curls and then I visualized myself doing a third set of 25 curls and I achieved that goal now I'm doing four sets of 25 curls so I'm curling 35 pounds a hundred times with each arm and my goal was to rebuild my strength because I lost a lot of my strength but that came to me because I visualized myself eating food with my dentures I visualized myself being able to eat with my dentures each time I wanted to try a food, I would visualize my hand picking up that food, going to my mouth, and I would simulate while I was laying in bed before I went to sleep, I would simulate myself, you know, just in my mind. I wasn't doing the actions. I was doing it all in my mind. I would picture myself picking up the food, biting through it, chewing it, and swallowing it. And I would just concentrate on that until I fell asleep. And the next thing you know, I was able to eat that food. Just like I'm able to do 100 curls with each arm, 35 pounds, not all at once, four sets of 25. Do I have a tendency to push myself beyond my limits? Yes. And I don't expect anybody else to do that. But I think visualizing yourself doing things is going to greatly improve your chances of success. We have to be able to see ourselves doing something. 
Your mind does not know the difference between reality and a dream. That's a true fact. That's been scientifically proven. If it were not true, then you wouldn't wake up with your heart racing, your palms sweating, breathing hard, scared out of your brain from a nightmare. Your mind did not know that was a dream. Your mind thought that was real. So when you visualize yourself doing something and concentrate on that as you fall asleep, your mind doesn't know that you're just thinking about it. Your mind says, oh, this is real. I'm actually doing this. And as you fall asleep, you continue that even unconsciously. You will continue those visualizations, those thoughts of doing that. You might not remember in the morning that you continued that thought pattern while you were sleeping, but you do. And things become easier and things become better for you. You begin to do things that you're visualizing yourself doing. So it's very important that we can visualize ourselves doing stuff to improve our lives. When I started my tree service when I was 19, I visualized myself doing jobs. I visualized myself trimming trees. I visualized myself bidding jobs. When I would go out and look at a tree and I would go all the way around the tree and I would look at every branch and I would look at every aspect of the tree. I would visualize myself tr in that tree, trimming that tree so that I knew every aspect of that job when I went back to do it. And I could actually climb up in the tree and do it exactly the way I visualized myself doing it, safely and efficiently. So I think that I don't talk about it enough, but visualizing is something that I think is very important. I think it's very important for us to be able to see ourselves doing something because that's what makes us successful at doing that thing. Just saying I can't is never going to get you anywhere. Attempting something and then never doing it after that because it hurt is never going to get you anywhere. Seeing somebody else doing something and going, God, I wish I could do that, is never going to get you anywhere. When you see somebody else doing something, you see me eating something, instead of saying, I wish I could do that, say to yourself, I will be doing that one day. I can do that. It may take me a little time and a little practice, but I know I can do that. Then visualize yourself doing that when you're laying in bed at night. Every night that you go to bed, concentrate on that. Visualize yourself doing that. See yourself in your mind actually doing that thing. And you will be able to do that thing, no matter what it is. What one person can do, another person can do. And I can't remember who said that. I saw it in a movie once. But I can't remember the, the original quote of who said that. I also saw it on Star Trek once, I believe. Yeah, I did. Um, so... <laughs> <coughs> Spring allergies. So anyway, you have to visualize yourself doing things in order to be able to become successful at doing those things. Success doesn't come from saying, I can't, I can't, I can't, or I wish, I wish, I wish. Success comes from saying, I can do that, and then visualize yourself doing it. I hope this helps some of you. I don't know if it will. I have to get back in here and get back to work. <laughs> I visualize myself working. <laughs> anyway, it's, uh, it's a beautiful day. I wish I could stay out here all day. I love being outside. I'm an outside guy. Um, it's hard for me to just sit in the house all day. So every chance I get, every break I get, I come outside and I enjoy the sun uh, because it's really difficult for me to just sit in the house. I, I'm an outside guy. I like being outside. 
So every chance I get, I come outside. So anyway, it's been awesome. It was an awesome weekend out at the dunes. We had a blast out at the dunes. We did all kinds of things out at the dunes. We had barbecues. We had, uh, well, it was just absolutely wonderful. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps uh, promote the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, hit the like button. You know, the more people that subscribe and the more people that hit the like button, the more my channel gets promoted to people that actually need the help. There's a lot of people out there that, I, that haven't found my channel yet that still need help. And I want to help as many people as I can. And I want the channel to grow and yes, I also want to make the money. Every dollar counts. All right, my friends, that's it for today. I hope everybody has an amazing day. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.